The more research I do on various types of mushrooms for my Mushroom Witch project, I become so amazed that there are so many different types and they're all so different and weird and this mushroom is one of them. It is known as the Lycogala epidendrum, or most commonly known as Wolf's Milk Slime, which I find is a lot easier to say. And as you can see from my reference pictures, they don't look like normal mushrooms at all, they just look like little pink blobs lying on a log. And they're absolutely adorable, and I just found it so interesting that these were mushrooms. So throughout my sketching, I decided to break down the um, idea of the mushroom to its most simplest form, um, being slime and the fact that wolf is in its name. I wonder why wolf is in its name now, I'm not really sure, I'll have to do more research on that, but I found it wouldn't be the best to make a humanoid like character design, however what I have been lacking in designing for my project is animals and creatures that would inhabit the world, and I think this specific mushroom is just perfect for a type of slime creature that you would probably find in any fantasy world, but this one is just absolutely carnivorous and or maybe omnivore, it would eat anything and it's slime can like um, just dissolve anything, which would be really cool. They, These mushrooms are actually quite interesting as they are a small bright pink blob and when they are ripe, if you try to squeeze them, then an orange ooze comes out, similar to slime, um, which is actually where I got the slime as their saliva that disintegrates their food. Uh, and I'm really liking this idea, I think it brings a lot to how this creature would live in the world I'm creating, as well as how it would interact with the characters that live in the same world as it. Out of all my designs, I think this one is the most simplistic, but I just really like how it looks, it's so cute, and I want one, and I don't know how big they would be compared to my actual characters, I'm thinking maybe, um, like most animals, uh, they have different sizes depending on like you know age and like I know in most video games you've got like the alpha wolf or alpha bear or anything is always bigger than the rest of the um, pack animals. I'm thinking of making them pack animals because the mushrooms themselves grow in little huddles. Um, so I'm thinking that would be a good way to start. Uh, and yeah, they could just be a variety of sizes, um, and I think it would just be amazing. And I, I don't know what, I just really like this design, how it's going. I think the colour scheme could use a little more work because I wanted it to have pink and orange together. Uh, and I've been finding that it's a little difficult to get a certain type of pink and orange to work. Especially when you want the orange to stand out, but you also want the pink not to fade into the orange, and you don't want to make the pink too light, because this is meant to be a more muted -y warm pink rather than like a cooler pink, if that makes sense. So yeah, I tried out with a slightly lighter pink um, that was still very warm, and comparing it to the other one, I actually like this a lot better. Um, the orange stands out much nicer, and the slime doesn't look too weird. Um, I'm just really liking how all this is coming together. This has to be the easiest design I've ever done for this project that I've just instantly liked, and the feedback I've got from others about it has also been very positive. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below as well. Um, and I'm not sure entirely what to call them as like a, a type of species-ish type of thing. Maybe I don't need to, um, but yeah. I started to think about the fact that they don't have mouths and how their anatomy would work, especially if they've got like this slime that dissolves their food. And so I was thinking that they could have a mouth on their stomach, uh, similar to Metagross from Pokemon which is really creepy every time I think about it. Um, I think what I really like most about working with these blobby creatures is the fact that they're just so easy to pose and demonstrate how they look with without worrying too much about the pose because they're so 
non-human like that they're literally just blobs i like blobs blobs are fun blobs are cute and so yeah they are going to have a giant mouth on their stomach that's filled with this orange saliva slime type stuff that will dissolve their food and anything else because they will eat anything and i mean anything even people yes um this would be i really like this this could be the mascot <laughs> I'm also thinking with this sketch that their bodies, due to them being kind of slimy in a sense, like they, they can expand in themselves is what I'm trying to say. They can expand um, themselves, especially when they eat food, so that they're able to, you know, eat more as they're going to be bottomless pit, tiny little bottomless pits. Yeah, like their mouths could just be a different dimension of emptiness. That would be quite interesting. <laughs> now I feel like I'm just describing my dog. But anyway, um, yeah, they will have razor sharp teeth in this bottomless pit of a mouth of theirs. They will be able to grow in size to swallow their prey whole. I'm kind of getting a snake vibe from that. And here are the final rough designs. I really like how the colour scheme is working and just how their overall shape and blobness and the little, cute little orange slime um, works well with how the character is, or I guess creature character is. Um, so yes, this video was short compared to my others, but that's because I want to do more research on this specific type of mushroom. It's just so fascinating. I can't believe it. So yeah, uh, if you enjoyed, let me know and subscribe if you want more.